the fight over the hijab ban in Karnataka's educational institutions is in its final stage, where in a few hours from now on, the Supreme Court is going to announce its verdict on the 23 petitions which have challenged the Karnataka High Court judgment. So the 10-day marathon hearing that had been taking place in the Supreme Court in the month of September, witness an ecosystem building an argument that hijab is their religious right and thereafter an essential practice. The judgment is now expected to be delivered by two judges at around half past 10 this morning, where a judge uh, bench of Justices Hemant Gupta and Sudhan Shudulia had reserved its judgment on the pleas that had happened on the 22nd of September after hearing the arguments for 10 days. Right. So also the judgment on these pleas has been on the cards uh, this week. Uh, perhaps uh, today only uh, the judgment is go going to come at around 10.30 a.m. wherein Justice Gupta, who is heading the bench, is due to retire on October 16th. Remember, it was on March 15th uh, wherein the Karnataka High Court order came out, which clearly said that wearing hijab is not an essential religious practice and that students cannot object to the prescription of the uniforms let down by the institutions and the state government. I am very happy because these people who were making a game, they were making a game or making a game, and the first wife doesn't get the right to keep it in the first place, that you have to keep it right or not. और कुरान पाक की सूरे निसा में साफ साफ कह दिया है कि अगर तुम एक के साथ इंसाफ नहीं रख कर सकते हो तो बस करो यानी कि यहीं से ही रुक जाओ तुम पहली बीवी के साथ इंसाफ करो जब इंसाफ कर लो ठीक है सुप्रीम कोर्ट के फैसले का हम स्वागत करेंगे जो भी फैसला आएगा हम स्वागत करेंगे क्योंकि हमारे लिए पहले एजुकेशन जरूरी है हिजाब जरूरी नहीं है पहले एजुकेशन जरूरी है well, I hope for the best and whatever the Supreme Court says, Mr. Rasopi, we welcome the judgment on whatever they, you know, they've heard all sides of the, uh, of, of the judgment. And uh, I think, you know, the, 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 the country is moving on, it's moving ahead, it's moving towards, you know, modernization. So one can expect a, a very positively good judgment and whatever the judgment is, as, and uh, you see, education is a primary. There are 805 verses in the Quran to deal with education and its derivative. So education is number one. And every, every child, not only a Muslim child, but every child in this country, every girl child in this country in particular, must acquire an education. And I don't think that any kind of impediment, uh, you know, should cross that path. And, you know, and, uh, you know hijab is, is not an issue that should hamper a girl's education. Well, our legal editor Harish Nair is joining us live right outside uh, the Supreme Court because it's a matter of time now, Harish. Of course, there will be and there cannot be any speculations on the verdict itself, but uh, it is expected to set a benchmark, especially now what will happen in the coming days. Yes, uh, good morning, Amita. Yes, uh, the historic uh, judgment is expected uh, in one and a half hours from now. And uh, the uh, Supreme Court uh, will be deciding uh, whether the uh, Karnataka High Court uh, was right in holding that uh, wearing of hijab is not an uh, essential religious practice, number one. Number two, whether uh, 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 the uh, institution, education institutions have a collective uh, right uh, of, for prescribing a uniform uh, in the interest of enforcing a sense of uh, uh, decorum, uniformity, and uh, decency, uh, and does that right uh, get primacy over the individual uh, freedom of right to religion? So these are the two main questions the, the Supreme Court bench led by Justice Seman Gupta will be deciding and pronouncing at uh, 10.30. <clears throat> but another int very interesting facet is that as per the cost list of the uh, Supreme Court, there will be two separate judgments. And what is the point of interest is uh, uh, the, uh, whether, uh, the, the, whether it will be uh, con uh, concurring uh, or uh, whether there will be a split verdict. Uh, in case there is a split verdict, the matter will further linger on because it will go to a larger uh, three-judge or five-judge bench. And uh, even uh, going by the tone and tenor of the hearing, even during the hearing, the 10 days hearing, uh, there were a lot of aspects in which the two judges had differed. Uh, for example, while Justice Hemant Gupta uh, was uh, completely in supporting the High Court judgment and the government order saying that uh, the educational institutions have
have a right to enforce, impose, a prescribe a uniform in the interest of decency and decorum and maintaining uniformity. And he had, and he had even questioned, the whole, uh, said that the entire problem arose because a particular community insisted on wearing a different kind of uh, dress while other, um, other uh, students of other communities were uh, ready to adhere to a uniform. At the same time, uh, Justice Dulia had posed very tough questions uh, to the Karnataka government and also picked holes in the Karnataka yeah. High Court judgment. He had repeatedly asked the government, uh, how, can, how can you cite uh, public order or health or morality to ban hijab? And also, uh, uh, when Solicitor General Tushar Mehta had said that, pointed right. that... So, Harish, uh, as France, far as the hearing so far is concerned, it is to be noted that uh, the two judges have, of course, differed on various aspects of the case. And now it is to be seen if the judgment is going to be conquering or split. Harish, stay with us. We'll come back to you. But meanwhile, as we know that the Supreme Court is uh, going to pronounce its verdict on the petition challenging the Karnataka High Court uh, that maintained hijab is not an essential practice... And and all students will have to follow the uniform. So it was on the 15th of March this year when the Karnataka High Court dismissed the petitions filed by a section of Muslim students of the Government of Pre-University Girls College in Karnataka's Udupi and seeking permission to wear the hijab inside classrooms, ruling out that it is not an essential religious practice in the Islamic faith.